Namaste. Today, I've just got my leather seat back from an upholsterer's called Trim Deluxe in Little Hampton because the foam in this side had disappeared and you, there's a metal bar under here and the leather was rubbing so hard against the metal bar, the repair that I'd done previously worn out and I had a hole here. Um, they've also, so they've taken this off, put new foam in, it's nice and foamy and dense now and put a little patch underneath, a thin patch. So and then, then what I've done is I've taken a leather cleaner, the Colour Lock Mild Leather Cleaner, cleaned it, wiped it down, use a microfiber cloth. Then I've taken the cleaning spirit to degrease it. Then I've used a filler, which is like a flexible filler, mixed with a little bit of paint, the same paint in here, and then dabbed that onto the, the area that was worn out. And some other areas that were cracking, I might as well, well, I've mixed up the filler, I might as well treat the other areas that have worn. Now, I've left that for about an hour to dry, and I take one of these Colorlock sanding pads, which is about P500, but it's foam-backed. Um, you can get all of this from the Colorlock website, into detailing, loads of people sell it, so I'll stick some links, hopefully in the description. And then I just want to gently sand the leather which is just taking out any texture to give you a smooth finish before you color and yes i am trying to avoid sanding on those um stitches so really it's just a case of smoothing out the finish don't need loads of pressure give this filler at least an hour to dry Just come around this way. Just gonna, that's it. Get a bit more control back there. And I filled some of these little fine cracks so that we just have a smoother looking finish. Still a little bit, still a little bit tacky there. So what I need to do is probably let this finish, let this dry a little bit more. Just put a little filler, a bit of filler over there because I think that's a little piece of leather showing there. And then really let it dry and finish off the sanding. So I can get all this bit nice and smooth. Yeah, and all that's feeling a bit better down here. That's all fine. That's all going to just blend in once we colour it. And then on here, get that smooth. And that lovely and then i just need to do this bit here again trying to stay away from the stitches we'll just go a bit slower here done that bit so that's smooth just checking yeah. there's a lot of filler there it needs longer to dry I need a little bit more there okay so you get the idea guys I'll come back when I'm due to color it and then I'll show you colouring it and finishing it off. Okay, guys. Namaste. It's a different day. 
I put a little bit more filler in to cover the bits that were through. I mean, this was worn right through virtually with one little tiny hole. So there's quite a lot of filler in here. So I've just been doing a little bit more sanding to get this nice and smooth. And once that's colored, you know, it's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be, it'll be good enough. That's all nice and flat. And that's all nice and flat. And that's all decent. So after you've done the sanding, again, you've got to degrease again. So we're gonna take the leather cleaning spirit. That's just to get rid of all the debris from sanding. And uh, let's just spin that round this way. Let's make sure I'm recording. Can you see what I'm doing yet? And just dab some of that on this cloth. So we've got a wet spot, wet the leather with the cleaning spirit. Just pick up any of that fine dust on the areas that we're going to recover, recolour even. Should probably do quite a lot. Well, actually, no, that's good. We'll do the bits where I've put in. So it's picking up that loose colour, loose paint. Want to see what that looks like. That section there. Okay, so that's just going to vaporize. So now I've given the paint. A really good mix up and color lock will mix paint up to whatever you can send them a sample if you want or they've got a database with all the different color codes in it so they let me just undo this ram mix this up for me when he came over i think and um let me just put this down <clears throat> i'm gonna put the paint i've really shaken it just before i started filming it's really important to shake the hell out of it um so there we've got some paint and if we go over here uh spin the camera around just dab this on thin coats really and build up thin coats awful camera work john So there's one layer, let's carry on over here. Obviously got a lot less paint now. That's okay. Pick up some more paint and I'll just leave that there for a second. More paint.
paint the entire car, really. <laughs> Interior and exterior. Should really open the seat up a bit more to get a bit more access to that bottom bit, but it's okay. It's the area where the bulk stick gets worn. I don't really want to get a lot more material on. Right, I'm just going to do a drying layer now. So take the, the old busted hair dryer that you nick from your missus. The Remington. <laughs> okay. So effectively, that's the first coat of paint. I'm going to repeat this with three coats, maybe four, um, and I'll come back in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think this is three or four coats now, and I'm kind of happy with the level. You've got to remember, this is a seat that's done 140,000 miles, so it's not going to be a brand new seat, but, you know, it's hidden the... That's the worst area there where you can just see some of that repair. But, you know, that's a natural crease. You can fill all of this, but you can only build up so much filler. So it's always, always going to have a slightly aged look. That's where the hole was originally that we did with RAM. Um, but overall, if I just put a bit of an angle on it, you know, this seat now looks like a seat should look. that's done 140,000 miles. Um, really, I should be putting top coat on this to protect the paint. Uh, I don't have that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just put loads of shield, colour lock shield on there. And maybe the next time I do this in a couple of years time, I'll order the proper DIY paint system, which is called the Leather Fresh, where they mix up the paint, but they put the binders and the glossing agents in there as well. So it's a one one part system whereas this this was designed to be sprayed on and then the top coat sprayed on top the professional solution so i'll go for the diy solution with the binders in and do exactly the same thing when the color starts to wear out recolor it with the proper leather fresh system so there we are there is one more problem that i need you to pick your brains on come with me come with me now one one of my fog lights fell out when I was driving along. I heard this little scraping noise. I thought, what the hell was that? This thing had fallen out and was dragging along the floor. It's all misted up anyway, so it, put, it needs replacing. So I'm going to buy two new ones. The problem is... Come around here. How the hell? See this? It's a weird clip here. And you push, you push a screwdriver in through that hole and it pushes that up and then the light, this light, this is an awful cam work, it sits on these two pegs, one peg there, one peg there. And you can see the little, the grooves there and there that they, they slot into. And then it has a spring clip here but, so it should be push fit. So you get it into the grooves there. Get into the groove. Hold on a second. So you get it into the groove. Where's those fucking grooves? There it is. That's in the groove. And then it should just be a push in. But that's not, it won't clip. So I can actually just pull that back out again. 
So how, how can I get this clip bit to work? I've tried pushing that up and pushing the screwdriver in there at the same time and pushing it in, but it just won't clip. I'm just trying to get, it just doesn't make any sense how that works. So if anyone can give me a tip of what the hell I'm doing wrong here, why I can't get this to clip in again, let me know. I'm just gonna play around with it while you're on camera. Hold on a sec, I can't see if you can see all this, but you should be able to. I wonder if it's pushed around too far. It should now pop in, it should just go pop, but it doesn't want to. No, it's not popping. Oh, you fucking made me jump. Oh, yeah, so I noticed. <laughs> oh, let me turn it off. So any ideas on this, contact the channel, let me know. Otherwise, take care. Over and out.